So let's see capabilities and use cases of artificial intelligence via some demos. So I am going to this particular URL, which is having uh, some hosted AI services from. So these are pre-built machine learning models, which are hosted by AWS. So I will visit this link and I will uh, quickly take you through the various capabilities which are exposed here. So very first thing is transcribe, which is automatic speech recognition service, and it helps in adding speech to text capability in the applications that we develop as, as a developer. Yeah. And then there is another one, which is Amazon poly, and it is turning your text into speech and it looks like a human is speaking. Yeah. So we can, uh, we can convert that text to human like speech. Then we have comprehend, which is understanding your natural language. That means like if you're typing in uh, English language and there are a lot of other languages which are supported. So if you type it, then it will be able to detect the sentiment. It will be able to detect entities. It will be able to detect lot of uh, objects within that text and then it will return that result to you. Yeah. So we'll have a demo on this. There is another one which is Amazon recognition. So let's say you have a picture, you're visiting a place and then it will be able to identify the text which is written in the picture, the people who are there in the picture, maybe detecting faces at least. It is able to detect the sentiment. It is able to detect uh, the, the place where you have visited. Maybe it's a very known place, let's say Taj Mahal, then it will be able to identify that this is something which is a monument. So Amazon recognition is another uh, interesting service from AWS AI service. Then we have Amazon Translate. We can translate the text into different languages and it can auto detect the source language. Yeah, so let's see a demo on Amazon Comprehend. So I will click on try Amazon Comprehend and here it is asking me to provide a text. So I am on Twitter and I am able to get some text from Twitter. Let's say I will pick up this text and I will put it here. And I will request this service to analyze the text. But before we do that, let me talk about it. So this is a conference, Neo4j conference, which happened. And uh, CEO and co-founder of uh, Neo4j, ML, is here. And uh, there is a discussion going on uh, regarding uh, uh, cancer and uh, how can we detect cancer using graphs. Yeah. So that's a discussion and uh, how graphs are changing the world. So that is a discussion and uh, we are analyzing that text with comprehend Amazon comprehend and we will see the results are here. So whatever humans were doing earlier, now artificial intelligence is able to do it. So it is able to detect it is positive or negative or neutral. So we can see most likely it's a positive thing that we, that is being discussed and 60% probability approximately. And then you will see there are entities being detected. So here there is an organization Neo4j and it is also able to identify the person who is CEO of Neo4j. And then it is also able to identify other people and uh, it is also identifying key phrases, syntax token, like which one is proposition, which one is noun, yeah, so a lot of interesting insights it is able to gain yeah, from the text that we provided. Yeah, so this is one service. Now, uh, there are other services also. Uh, if you look at the natural language processing, so we can detect natural language processing using another platform. And this is another application which has been built. So there is another application on Heroku app, which is uh, making use of naive ways classifier. Yeah, so let's try this out. So if I go down, it is asking me to specify the text. Let's say I specify happy birthday ML. So if I do that, it will say it's a spam. So you are writing your own system and it may not give you the best performance. But if you go here and let's say I write happy birthday ML. And let's see what AI says. 
so ai says that it is a positive message yeah and it is not a spam and uh, uh, this one is more generic thing wherein it is detecting the sentiment and this one is detecting the specific use case of ham or spam emails right so if i say happy birthday uh, let's say bhavok and i say classify wow uh, it says not a spam and if i say you won a lottery yeah so when i classify using this then it says it is a spam so you are changing the text and it is able to detect ham or spam with certain probability it will be making some mistakes also it's not perfect so i want to highlight this thing that there are infinite number of possibilities and machine learning model is able to identify whether it is spam or ham so coming back to the discussion we were looking into capabilities and use cases so it can be utilized for multiple purposes it can be for fair recruitment it can be for reducing errors in recruitment process or having a better assessment we can increase the use of analytics and matrices and we can make this process faster and much more of efficient because we are not dependent on humans yeah